On average, 8 million energy drinks are sold a year. Some people buy up to 4 cans a day to make this number so high. We've got a nurse here at New College to talk about how unhealthy they really are and her theories on why teenagers and other people drink them so regularly. Why are energy drinks so bad for you and what are the effects to your body? The daily recommended amount of caffeine for a person to take each day is 400 milligrams. So if you have more than your recommended daily dose, you will certainly suffer with palpitations, so it's increased heart rate. Insomnia, so that you can't sleep. It can cause a headache because your blood pressure increases and that can cause dehydration. How many people do you think drink these energy drinks and actually know how bad they are for you? I think a lot of people don't know, so maybe Maybe adults do that use it for sports energy, work, you know, people that are working to give themselves a boost. But I think there's a lot of young people that really don't know the dangers. How do you think we could stop people drinking them so regularly? Well, in this college, for instance, when I started here five years ago, they were sold in our little um, shop for the students. Um, tutors were coming to me saying they had students in their classes that, you know, were quite agitated. And um, I did some research and we actually got them banned from selling them in the shop. So I know they can bring them in from outside, but at least we're not advocating them on our premises. Energy drinks have a target market of mainly teenagers under the age of 18. Teenagers have been known to buy up to four energy drinks and drink them all in the same day. But are they aware that energy drinks such as Monster and Rockstar have caused people to die? Or that drinking too many of them can cause yourself headaches or migraines? they can even cause your body to develop type 2 diabetes. Roughly how many energy drinks do you drink in a month? Close to about 40 if I've got the money, 30 if I'm going low. I normally try to keep one a day. Do you know how bad they are for you? Well, I know that they've got really bad ingredients. They overdose on the vitamins from B12 and uh, B6, and the sugar is incredibly bad. But because of this, I try to drink sugar-free ones the vitamin thing, I, I just deal with it. I mean, there's other things that are going to kill me. I could drink other stuff like Coke and that, but they're bad for you in one way or another. I mean, if I want to go completely healthy, I have to drink water. I mean, I can't really drink water all the time, so I keep with my energy drinks. Roughly how many energy drinks do you drink in a day? On average, a week, I drink three to four. So monthly, the average is around about 16 cans a month. Do you know how bad they are for you? I know that if I drink too many, I get migraines, and that's from experience, but anything else I don't know. If you know this, why do you still drink them? Because they taste nice, and they help keep me awake when I need to be awake. Like, at one point, I was really behind on my coursework, and I only got five hours sleep in 48 hours, and what kept me awake was energy drinks. It's not only teenagers who drink these sorts of drinks. Adults drink them as well, just not as much. Energy drinks that are drunk sensibly are less harmful to your body. Most adults drink energy drinks more sensibly than teenagers and usually have better reasons on buying them. How do you feel about energy drinks? I don't think they're very good for you, but um, they do do what it says on the tin. It gives you enough energy to keep you awake. Why do you think so many teenagers drink them? Probably for the same uh, reasons. They need to keep themselves going, like myself when I work on nights. It keeps me going up doing 12 hours. When I finish that, I'll stop again because it does keep me awake, but I won't keep drinking them afterwards. From my interviews, most people know that energy drinks are bad for you, but the reasons they still drink it is because it tastes good and nearly everything in the world is bad for you, like crisps, fast food, any fizzy drink in general. So what's the point of just getting rid of energy drinks when there's so much bad things out there?